Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jewel Suds and Soaps. What we're going to be doing today, I wanted to use these, um, these shavings up. And they're unscented, but I'm going to be adding apple blossom inside the soap here. I'll put it in the purple. Okay, so I did mix. It's a real, real bright uh, purple mica. I added just a little bit, a few uh, squirts of rubbing alcohol. That will dissipate, but it really does help to incorporate better if you do it ahead of time in your rubbing alcohol or glycerin. Okay, so I have here about 16 ounces of goat's milk suspended base. And I have here about eight ounces, uh, yeah, eight ounces, I would say, of the uh, olive oil suspended base. Okay, so what I'm going to do then, I have my Fleur de Lis ready, right side up. I love using impression mats. Okay, so what I'm going to do then, I'm going to melt this down. Um, I would say this will probably take me about, uh, I would say maybe about six minutes or so. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I melted down the um, olive oil. And I have a few clumps, so I'm just trying to get that out. Okay. Oops. I get the white out. Okay, good. I'm going to take a temp on this white. Okay, 143. So now I'm going to start adding this purple. And also in the purple, I'm going to be adding the um, fragrance oil, which is apple blossom. I'm debating whether to put the rest of the purple in the white to make a white, I don't think I'm doing that, or to make a light purple. I think I'll just stick with what we've got. All right, so what I'm gonna do, wanna do now is check my temps. We're gonna add, first of all, sorry, we're gonna add the uh, fragrance oil. That was about 5 ml of apple blossom. I'm not putting it in the white um, simply because, you know, if colors, if certain, I'm sorry, certain scents, if they have vanilla or vanillin, um, it will actually turn your soap, it can turn your soap like a brown or just kind of a yucky smell, so. All right, so I'm gonna really make sure this is mixed up good. Let me check on this white. We're at 143, that's good. And we're about 134 there. So the bottom line is this, I don't want to uh, melt any of these embeds that we're gonna be putting in. Let's make sure you can see, okay. So I'm going to start the pour. So really, whatever um, swirl I was going to have will now be no longer because it, the weight of this, of these impets. Okay, and I did spray these really good with alcohol. And I'm putting in these that um, I put into curly cues. more white okay. 
This will be very interesting. Okay, I'm going to get these pesky ear bubbles out with rubbing alcohol. Um, why not? I think I'll put some more in. Going with the purple. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put some more of the white in. And I do have leftover, that's fine. Love this purple. Okay, I'm going to go in with a tiny bit of this goat's milk. Okay. I'm going to let this set, I would say, for a good two, three hours. Uh, I'm going to do it room temperature. So, okay, we'll be back when it's done. Okay, we're back for the unmolding. What I wanted to do was, um, I, I just put a little bit of um, glitter in here with rubbing alcohol. Yeah, I'm just going to lightly brush the top here. I don't want to go too overboard. It's very minimal. Okay, so let me show you. Okay, so here's the top. And then one of the sides. And that's the bottom. And then another side here. Okay, I'm going to cut this off camera and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back for the unmolding. Let me bring the lamp a little bit closer. Here's the top. Okay. Now there's only four of them because it's a bigger uh, bar because I didn't want to cut um, into the floor to leave if I didn't have to. So that's why they're a little bit bigger. Here's the next one. I love how this uh, purple at the bottom seems so wispy. No holes or anything. It smells really good, this apple blossom. Okay, it's the last one here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please press the like button, comment down below. I always enjoy hearing from you guys. And become a subscriber. Once you do become a subscriber, hit that notification bell. And then you'll be notified when I release a new video. Thanks and have a great day.